Welcome to Dwarf Fortress and welcome to the channel I am Twisted Logic. In this video we're going to be creating soap. And soap is not required to clean contaminants like blood or mud off of the dwarves. Uh, they can use regular murky pools or artificial pools for that and any water source will do. However, uh, every once in a while they will get happy thoughts like recently took a soapy bath. And soap is also used in the hospital for cleaning wounds and preventing infection after surgery. So I created this room that's relatively close to the wood stockpile, as well as the main hub and where the hospital is going to be. And we're going to start building everything in this room right here. So we're going to go to build and then workshops. And the first thing we're going to do is build a furnace. We are going to build a regular wood furnace. So maybe we'll build the wood furnace right about there-ish, okay. Any materials fine, we're gonna use jet. So that's the wood furnace there. And then we're gonna go to build workshop and we're gonna create an ashery, okay. And so the ashery we'll put up here. And this is gonna require blocks of any material. It's also gonna require a barrel and a bucket. And then we are going to build a workshop and a soap maker's workshop. And we'll put that somewhere over here. Okay, right there looks good. That's going to require buckets. It's going to require materials. Excellent. Excellent. This wood furnace is now complete. And so we're going to go to a new task. And we're going to make ash on repeat. And you could set up a manager job if you'd like to. I just need a lot of soap right now. So we're just doing it on repeat. And then we're going to make a relatively small stockpile around it. Just kind of like that. Uh, however you want to do it. And accept that. And this is going to be a custom stockpile of bars and blocks. Other material. And only ash. So this is going to be an ash stockpile. And then we're going to go to the other bar and block stockpiles in the fortress. And disable ash. So all of it goes here. Excellent. The other two workshops are complete and we are currently making ash. So we're going to make a new stockpile again. And we're going to put that like right here. Uh, maybe just eight tiles big. Accept that. And this is going to be a custom stockpile. It's going to be a furniture stockpile. Okay. And it's going to be buckets only. So this is going to be an empty bucket furniture stockpile. And that's going to be right next to the ashery. And we're going to make another custom stockpile right here between the ashery and the soap maker's workshop. Except that custom this is going to be a food stockpile. And all the way at the bottom of the list for food, mystic liquid. And we're going to enable lye and milk of lime. Okay. And then all the other stockpiles, we're going to disable lime and milk of lime. And we're also, we can have buckets in other places as long as there's buckets here. In the ashery, we're going to add a new task. And we're going to make lye. Okay, and we're going to put lye on repeat. So they're going to take the ash and the empty bucket. And they're going to combine it in the ashery to make lye. And then in the soap maker's workshop here... We are going to combine the lye with tallow from the animals to create soap. Except that another custom stockpile here. This is going to be custom food. Okay, and this is going to be animal fat. All fat. All different tallow. And then our final stockpile right here. Except that one. This is going to be a custom barn block stockpile. Other materials, soap. So now we're going to go to the citizen information menu and pets and livestock. And we're going to start slaughtering some animals here. So if we go down here to the labor menu and then standing orders, automate kitchen is on by default. So we don't have to touch that at all. So we just slaughtered a few animals in the butcher shop. And over in our kitchen, right here, uh, the render fat job is currently active. 
So that's part of the automated kitchen. They're putting dog tallow in the workshop here. We don't have barrels in there yet, but they'll get barrels uh, eventually around the kitchen here and around the stills. These are all empty barrel stockpile. So they'll bring barrels over here eventually and put that tallow in the barrel. Now we just need, now we just need some lye. So in the carpenter's workshop, we're gonna create some buckets just in case. Excellent. Obak is making lie. Okay, excellent. The final step, soap maker's workshop, add new task, and we're going to make soap from tallow and put that on repeat as well. And now we just have to sit back and let all the dwarves complete all the tasks to create some soap. Excellent. The job is active right now, and... Dudok is creating our first bar of soap. Yes, and there it is. Our first bar of turkey soap. Complete. Thank you very much for watching, and subscribe for more videos.